I've got a couple of Marini brake calipers in for a rebuild and you can see that I've already split one and got the pistons out and I did this with um, an airline through the, uh, the transfer port uh, with the pressure set relatively low um, so that I could just have a hand on the piston and feel its movement and these were quite stubborn to come out it uh, uh, I had to keep uh, pushing them out a little bit with the air and then pushing them back in to get them moving but eventually we got them out as you can see things are pretty sludgy in there so these will probably go in the uh, get a quick wash down with solvent and then go in the uh, ultrasonic cleaning tank to get them really clean. Uh, now I had a little bit of an issue getting seals for these. Um, the seal kit that's available is, um, well let's back up a bit. First of all, what is this caliper? Well it's a 41mm diameter piston and I went looking to see if I could find a type number for the caliper and ironically the only reference I found was one I'd posted many years ago um, based on information on an American website that sold um, these and, the, and the, the later caliper but does no longer but I, it, it jogged my mem memory, I remembered where information this is apparently the um, Gromica 1010 caliper um, which is used both sides on uh, a 350 Marini you know with the optional second or, or if it's a, a K or a 1 or a K2 uh, you had the twin disc as standard uh, same on the 500s certainly the earlier ones I believe late actually late K2s and 500s used the caliper that replaced this which was the 1025 and it seems that the 1025 um, seal kit is the same because that caliper was just directly intended to replace this. So I'll just pause a moment and get the pistons. So this is one of the pistons I removed and as you can see the the anodizing on it is pretty badly torn up and it uh, ideally needed replacing but uh, Pistons for these are very hard to track down. I'd found references to a 1025 rebuild kit, including pistons, but that was like one reference. However, what I did find was these pistons, which are 41mm Gramica pistons, but they're for the car style caliper. As you can see, they're a few millimetres taller. Um, they were a decent price, uh, the supplier was very helpful uh, in taking measurements um, and also checking the seal kit which um, appears it's a different seal but I, I want to go back to that and reevaluate because they were a, uh, uh, a better source or a cheaper source certainly of the seals um, but they had trouble getting uh, parts out of Gramica these days and having to order like a batch of a hundred calipers for them to even consider supplying them. However, we, they had a decent number of, of pistons inside so I bought a set of four and I'm now going to make a, um, a holder for these so that I can mount them in the lathe without damaging them and skim them to the to the length and it's something like 18 millimeters down to 16 and a half. Uh, it's not a lot to come off. So I quickly machined up this uh, piston holder. Uh, contrast makes it quite difficult to see, but it's uh, reduced in diameter so that the jaws will clamp on this larger diameter and uh, crush this down slightly to grip the piston. And the piston is a light 
slip fit in and then it's bored through the back um, to enable me to push it out and I've got a length of 20 millimeter plastic uh, electrical conduit so I can do that easily and uh, so I got the dimensions wrong earlier I transposed a couple of digits uh, this pistons 18 millimeters and it now it needs to go down to 15.6 rather than 16.5 so what I will um, will do is to use the DRO to uh, get the measurements so I've got the piston in the holder uh, you can see the relief at the back there that means the jaws crush down the front of the the holder. Um, I touched the tool off uh, against the face of the piston, set the DRO to 18 millimeters, um, then came clear, went into 16 and a half millimeters, and I've set up the hard bed stop. And then I'll take this in a number of passes because you know it's not held immensely securely, but it um, should be more than adequate for the job. And here we go, a set of pistons, all shortened and chamfered, ready to be uh, installed in the calipers once they've been cleaned and the seals replaced.